this is what it looks like from afar. So eventually I, my plan is to do something else with this, either sell it or put it away, or I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but it's not gonna be in here. And so he has put the, the floorboards here. He hasn't caulked anything yet. I just wanna show you what it looks like. So I decided to do the floorboards because it will look like it's actually made for this wall with the floorboards. And then he didn't sand the top yet, but he will be sanding this. And so we will be coloring this a very bold color. I'm thinking about the bold blue that's already over on the other side of the wall. And the top will be white because I am going to have some accents. Um, accent, um, it's not really panels here. And I am have to contact um, Rooms Remembered and see if she can give me some suggestions on who can make some custom padding to go on top of my bench. I want the padding to have some type of design on it. I haven't decided what I want it to be yet. So I think I need to pick out my fabric and then have one make it specifically for this length and this um, width. I think I need just one. I'm not sure if I need to put two here. I don't know. What do you guys think? I welcome your suggestions. But from afar, it looks really good. So let me back up a little bit. And it just, it looks so much better like that, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it look great? So, <clears throat> excuse my voice. Again, I'm getting over a cold or sinuses. So you can tell I did not paint this wall. You can see it's a different color from this one because I knew I was going to have some decorative panels on that wall there. So. So here you're seeing my husband is actually putting up the 3D wall panels um, from Wall Dimension. And you can also get this from Home Depot or you can get it straight from Wall Dimension. I decided to get it from Wall Dimension because sometimes Wall Depot, I'm sorry, excuse me, Home Depot and Lowe's, they um, sometimes they're just out of products and I wanted to get, get it straight from the source. This one I like because all you have to do is take the strip off the back and place it onto the wall. Um, let me let, just show you the box it came in and so that way you can order it for yourself. It comes in this box, 12 panels in each box, $89.99 per box. It took me two boxes. We did have one left over. And then let me show you the back of that so you can kind of see the strips on the back where you can peel those off and place it on the wall. We did, after we placed it on the wall, we put we cocked it to make it look seamless because when you put it right beside each other, you can kind of see the small gap in between each panel. But once you cock it, and if there's any excess cock, you can wipe it off with a wet cloth. It looks like it's um, was it was made for the wall, basically. It really looked nice, and I wanted it to really mimic the waves on the other side of my wall with the wallpaper. So here is a closer look of the wall in its current state. I also wanted to let you all know that I am not getting paid or sponsored for this video. I just really wanted to show you all how easy it is to put up this 3D textured wall panel. So um, if you like what you're hearing, if you like this type of content, please thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you have this already in your home and how easy it was for you to put up yourself. I appreciate the support. I just love how this turned out. The bold blue against the all white is just phenomenal to me. 
The blue matches the, the blue on the other end of my room and the textured 3D wall panels from Wall Dimensions actually uh, it mimics the, the swirls and the curves of the wallpaper on the other side of the room. So please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you feel about this breakfast nook that was, well, bench that was created DIY for under 1000 bucks. Thank you so much for supporting and peace.